Greetings! Today I'm going to show you how to change the color of one's eye using After Effects. Let us begin! First off, import your footage into After Effects and resize it. Then create a new null layer object and a new solid. Call the solid Iris Tracker. And this one, just Tracker. Tracker gonna get ya! And hide this for some time. Then, using the mask tool, draw a circular mask. And then, position the mask over the iris. Scale it down if required. Then look up the stroke effect and apply it to the iris tracker. Change this to reveal original image. Turn off viewing masks and set the start. Change the brush size first, and maybe do a reddish color and on transparent. And change this until you meet the start of the eyelid, and change the end until you meet the end of the eyelid, and maybe bring down the brush size and change this as required. That is looking good. Now we'll change the opacity so we can see what's happening below the layer. Now, parent the iris to the tracker. And essentially what you have to do is to track position of the iris. So I'm going to just reposition this. Come back here, move maybe three frames ahead and position it. Three frames, three frames, using the page down key. If we see a big jump, you may want to change it in one frame. I'm going to skip ahead now so I can save some time. Okay, so this is what I have so far, and that's looking good. Sometimes when the eye goes off to the side, it's not perfectly circular and we'll have to just keyframe the scale to squish it in a bit. And in fact, we can we can do that now. So I think it's uh, S for scale. Uh, set the stopwatch and bring it... Uh, before you do that, uncheck this. And nope, not that one. And also change the pivot position to here. Hopefully, yep, good. Okay, and then using the page up key, go back to where it doesn't move. So I think that's maybe here. So then go before that, set a keyframe, and page up to go back. Set another keyframe and bring it back to 80.3. And maybe just zoom in, maybe bring that back two frames. Okay, good. And now we've got everything tracked, so we can start creating the actual iris and the iris shadow. So, uh, control Y, iris, control Y again. Iris Shadow. Now, uh, just turn these layers off. You can simply copy this mask over here and paste it onto the iris. Uh, make sure you reposition it and scale it down as required. In fact, 
make it 80.3 and then go back to the start position it roll and then parent this to the iris tracker now if we turn this off this should follow the eye yep and likewise do the same thing with this one so scale 80.3 parent this to the iris tracker and now you need to create another mask for the iris layer using the pen tool then hold down and click so you create a nice curve and finish off and then set this mask to intersect yes now you need to go again and for each frame maybe once one three frames to readjust this to fit the shape of the eyelid and maybe even call that mask eyelid and I'm going to skip ahead again because I'm okay so after tracking the eyelid you should get something like this now to fix this all you have to do is go to the frame before it disappears this here opacity so that's T keyframe ooh yeah just delete this go up here so set a keyframe down bring that to zero then go here set another keyframe go down bring it back to 100 I'll just turn this layer off so you can see it's working next what you want to do is you want to go to the eyelid mask and press U then snap holding down shift snap to the first keyframe and then press M to bring up your masks select both of them copy them and paste them on the iris shadow turn that on so you can see what's happening and also what you want to do is uh, alt click the mask path and use this thing over here to link it back to this yeah I'm just gonna get rid of this I use that so I can see what's happening yeah and now if you change the eyelid in the iris to fix things up it will it'll change this as well so now we can start coloring things so we want a ramp effect for the iris yep good control shift hedge yeah so I can see that bring that down, bring that up mm -hmm. and change this to any color of your liking and you want the bottom color to be uh, lighter than this one because and you create the shadow yeah then um, for the shadow you want a stroke effect like before turn it on and you want the mask to be mask 1 reveal the original image brush size turn that up and finally fast blur to 7 Seems good. Then you need to change this to soft light, the transfer mode. If you can't see it, press F4 and you'll change it. And soft light and voila. There it is. Now if you want, you can use a curve curves adjustment on the iris. Bring it up or you know bring it down, contrast or whatever you want. To left view. And finally, if you want to keyframe a color change between an eye blink, 
all you have to do is keyframe these and it will change and that covers the tutorial obviously make sure you keyframe the opacity for the stroke so you can change that and then get rid of it and that's that keep going on this and fixing the you know, position of the null object and the uh, and the eyelid and you fix things up and make it perfect thanks for watching hi <laughs> my uh, name is Schmigal